Right, good morning on a very sunny but reasonably cold day on the farm here. Um, yeah, I'm going to do um, a video now, a sort of camper van tour uh, video because I've finished my camper van now. It's been finished for a while but like all these things I still keep doing things and adding bits to it. Um, <clears throat> so I suppose it'll never properly be finished. But um, So now's as good a time as any just to take you through. Um, the camper van, for those of you who've sort of um, watched the build of this on my channel, um, I'm going to repeat a lot of stuff you, you've already seen, but um, yeah, it's just um, a whole tour of the van uh, from start to finish. Um, so yeah, if you want to, if anyone hasn't seen the videos and want to see how I got on with the work on this, I've got a series of videos on the channel showing you the basic build of it. So here we go. It is a short wheel base, low roof, standard uh, Vauxhall Vivaro. 2005 um, so I'll give you a walk around the side now as you can see um, I've changed it quite a bit on the side you've got um, two windows one either side on the back there I went for the frosted glass so you can't really see in um, I've changed the wheels um, those are two one five sixty five sixteens um, originally there'd be 1956516s. Those are off a uh, BMW 3 Series. They're just a straight fit. Uh, they fit straight on. They, they sit prouder, so it gives it more of a sort of buggy-like look, which I think looks really good. But there we go. Um, uh, on the side as well, I've put these decals down the side. Uh, I've put these... Uh, window um, things on which are really good actually you can leave the front windows open a little bit in the summer just to um, sort of get some ventilation I've put some uh, decals on the back uh, I've gone for a, a Drax theme uh, from the Bond film Moonraker because uh, this is a Bond themed van uh, if you like so as we go around oh, I've put another a few little things on limited edition there. I would have preferred special edition, but they didn't have one. I've obviously got a Union Jack on the front. That's pretty much it for the front. Oh, you might be able to see at the top, um, all the way around it actually, I've got spotlights and uh, amber flashes that are sort of two in one unit. I'll try and show you a picture of those later. I'm keeping the side clean, so it looks a little bit like a work van. As you can see, this is the same as the other side. And at the back, again a Union Jack, and I've I'm going to put I've put a few stickers on there already. You can see um, I'm just going to add to that as I go. That's going to look more camper van esque. It's obviously the uh, tailgate which I was after before I bought the van. It was a sort of essential. Um, I've also got various attachments on the tow bar, so I can put in a bike rack, or I've got a little um, sort of uh, thing that I can fit one of my small motorbikes on so I can take I can have a motorbike on the back of there if I want which I don't use very often actually because I've got my toy trailer there obviously with the boat on top of it I can put one of my little bikes in the back and outboard engine and gear and all that so that's what I generally use if I'm going on holiday so uh, I'll start at the back So, there we go, that's the back. I fitted a sort of fold-out seat there, which is quite good actually, quite comfortable. And obviously doesn't take up much room. I've got a little table there, just for you, because this is my cooking, my sort of kitchen if you like. Um, the van is too small, I haven't fitted in sinks and you know cooking facilities and all that because I'd rarely use it and if I do want that I've got it out the back. So here I've got a very large drawer with cooking with a cooker in, a little gas cooker there, cooking utensils etc. And here I've got this sort of worktop type thing and I've made this here which just fits onto there and it's held in at the back just with this little bracket at the front I've got um, neodymium magnets under there 
So that's a sort of, not a splashback, but it's a sort of wind protector, which works quite well. So you just have a stove on there and it gives you a bit of prep room, etc., which is quite good. Uh, above it, I've got a sort of spice rack here and just some basic utensils at the top. So that goes away. down there yeah, I have also fitted two lights just at the top here which can be used uh, when I'm cooking so that's the back of it uh, this side because I've got a, a bed inside this side just gives me access I've got a folding table here just a folding camp table, which is pretty good. Uh, and that gives me access to one of these big sort of storage units. This side, which I keep uh, set up stuff in. I've got a tool, I've got my tools there, um, electric hookup, leveling things. There is an RCB circuit breaker there. And this fits really well, just like that. Electric hookup at the back there. Very basic electrics on this. Um, so, the inside. I've gone for a, a two-seat conversion. I converted it to a two-seat. I've got these sort of quite, quite posh-looking seats, which are comfortable. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm a bit chuffed with that. In the centre, I've built uh, an armrest, which is in its down position at the moment, which gives me access to the back. Underneath it here is a little fridge. Only really, it's a small one. It's just really for butter and, and milk and whatnot. So there is the armrest in its up position. Um, I'll show you the cab from the other side now. because it gives me a bit more room. Right, as you can see, I've decaled it up a bit inside. It's suddenly gone really dark. I've got a 007 thing there. Uh, I've got a radio that I've fitted there. I've got a couple of radios in the back, so I can use them for convoy driving, etc. It's a bit geeky now. I'm a, I'm a bit of a, a bit of a geek, so I've fitted some switches here. These are for the exterior and interior lights and reversing camera. I've obviously done a bit of a flight sort of theme with those and a couple at the top here. This was an alarm unit with two sensors, but it never worked. So I've just removed it and fitted these sort of little lights, map lights, on either side. As you can see there, if it'll focus, danger ejection seat. And I've got it on the side of both seats as well. Just a little bit, silly bit of geeky fun. Uh, but yeah, I've got a few more little jobs to do in here. I'm going to replicate these type of switches and replace these with them. And I'm going to change the gear knob for a sort of flight-esque one. Terribly geeky, I know, but that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to fit a sort of um, dished Momo uh, steering wheel which means I won't have the airbag anymore but I don't mind about that. Oh and I fitted up here again because it's so dark here you can't really see. I don't know if you can see that. I've got a thermometer here and a voltmeter which I find really useful because the battery on this isn't great. Right I'll show you the back now. So there you go, that's the back under here, well to start off with you've got, here I've got one of these fan heaters for when I have got electric hookup, I have also got a diesel heater which I plumbed, I've tapped off the main diesel supply for the, for the van, that also has its own power supply to run the fan etc and the diesel pump, there's five 9 amp hour batteries uh, just in parallel. So that has got its own supply. They're really good, these diesel heaters. This is a, a little bin, and I've got 
one of these Tassimo coffee makers, which are really good behind that. Um, what does this say? But yeah, so the diesel heater there. What I wanted to do in here was, I didn't like the, um, the kits you can buy for doing out the back of these vans. I find them quite cramped. And I don't, like I said before, I don't need a sink and wardrobe and all that. So I wanted it sort of open and sort of loungy, which I think I've sort of managed to managed to get here. Um, so yeah, this this is the bed unit. These pull out, <coughs> and thusly, both of them. And as you can see with these cushions, I can extend that to a full double. I've added this little bit onto the end because this is 180 centimetres. I'm sort of six foot two, so um, I'm a bit too buku for that bed. Um, but yeah, double bed, or you just dump those cushions at the back on the floor and you can just have it as a single, which I quite often do. Soft furnishings, I've gone for a few Union Jacks. I've also got, I've made this, it's um, sort of all in wood that I've cut out. Uh, it's a bit of a cover-up really to hide some some uh, dodgy carpeting I did on the ceiling. The fan is fully carpeted and insulated. I've got some storage things on the back of these seats. The seats do have pockets as well so that's quite useful and I fitted a curtain rail at the top with curtains across just held back in these sort of stays that I made along with the other curtains this side here is obviously the other end of that unit. I've fitted, I've made a little cork board, which is really useful just for chucking stuff on. I've got a much bigger one in my house. It's a sort of family thing, we, we, we make these. This I didn't actually make, I just bought it. It's a desk tidy, but it's useful just for little bits and bobs. I had, I had to fit some magnets behind just so it doesn't, just doesn't open. This is the uh, DC lighting for the back, you've got a voltmeter there, some USB chargers and I've got three lighting circuits uh, on this. These two lights in the centre, so those on, which are independently dimmable, they're on their lowest setting at the moment which is all you need when this, you know, in, at night in this place. Uh, it's got an LED strip all the way around and to jump in for this. You probably won't be able to, oh, you can see a little bit. There's another couple of LED strips under there in that little booze cubby hole. And under here again, they're much more effective at night. So here I've got the bar, which is also lit actually. So that all lights up. It's quite impressive at night. So I've got lights here on the top, underneath there, under there. And that's my little bar. It goes all the way back. It's pretty good actually. It's, it's got quite a lot of room in there. So yeah, and here, that's the main sort of unit there. I've faced it off just with loads of little clippings from Bond films just so you don't end up with a big expanse of wood in here. And I think it works quite well. Um, loads of storage uh, in those nine sort of holes, as you can see, full of food and books and whatnot. Here, I've got my weather station, which is really useful. And a couple of walkie-talkies there, again, for convoy driving or when you're camped up, whatever. Uh, here, I have a carbon monoxide uh, detector because I have got the diesel heater in here and here this is my hidden gun again to go with the bond theme uh, light here an adjustable one just as a bedside light uh, and that is pretty much it for the back uh, yep two um, sockets down there with USBs as well obviously only any good when I've got electric hookup uh, and in this side under there that's where I keep all the bedding 
Um, quite a lot of room really, storage room in here. And a little bit just for storage at the bottom. And another little bondy feature. Hidden safe. <laughs> Most Bond films have got a safe or something hidden somewhere with some evil plans in or whatever. So, oh, I'll show you um, one other little Bondy feature which I'm quite proud of. It's really silly this, but it's fun. I wanted something by which I could weaponize against the passenger. So what I've done, so I've got these two evil buttons here. One of them turns out into an electric seat. It doesn't really. I fitted a vibrating unit into that seat. It's like a powerful vibrating thing. I say that I've fitted a, uh, an ignition coil onto it and people sort of get a bit nervous and then you give them a blast of that, which is quite good fun. And the other one here, as you can see, Electricity, the other one's water. Check this out. Don't know if you can see that spraying out of there. <laughs> Silly, but fun. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, I'm quite happy with it. I've slept in it for two weeks solid on my last summer holiday. And uh, I've done numerous overnights in it. It's nice and comfortable. Uh, and it does me. So, uh, yeah, if anyone's interested in how I sort of built it, how I got along with the build, check out my other videos, and I will see you again soon. See you later. Bye. Oh, uh, one more thing. I completely forgot to show you this, actually. This is a sort of tabletop. As you can see, it's quite small, so that does pull out, which gives you a pretty decent-sized table there for working on a laptop or eating or whatever um, which caused me a few problems fitting that uh, unit because it's obviously floating it ca I can't be attached to the bottom so um, I've sort of had to fit that with a, um, a decent strong stop at the top and then also fit it into the side of the van and one more thing I forgot to mention just underneath this Unit again is more storage. I've got one of these sort of big, big sort of uh, what do you call them? It's like a panini maker type thing, but it can open up um, flat. So it's basically like a barbecue again, electric powered. So for electric hookup, I've basically got a barbecue as well. And that is it now. So I will uh, see you later. Cheers for watching. Catch you later. Bye.